in the heart of the bustling capital city of Malawi, Lilongwe Wildlife Center welcomes any wild animal in need of help. The center has more than 200 animals in its care, but its doors are always open. Vet nurse Auser has just collected three more tiny orphans that have been dropped off at reception. They make a cute sound. <laughs> I've picked up three hedgehogs from a woman around here in Lilongwe. It rained so much last night, so she rescued them. She tried to offer them solids, but they didn't eat anything. So she decided to bring them here so we can take care of them. New intakes are checked into the centre by Head of Animal Care, Tori. Oh, they're just baby babies. Yeah. So one of them looks weak. Mm -hmm. When she was giving them to me, it was very weak. She was not moving that fast. Hi, guys. You're just cold. These are African pygmy hedgehogs. For a boy. And another boy. And a girl. We get a lot of hedgehogs about this age that come through after the rains. They get washed out of the nests and they're just a little bit too young uh, to make it on their own. Um, but when they get washed out, the parents kind of disappear because obviously everything's very scary and confusing. Um, and then we get them here. Yeah. So we just hang on to them. At this age, depending on what they weigh, we'll probably give them milk for maybe another week or two. Um, and then they can join our hedgehog creche. So cute. <laughs> Vet Charlotte will make sure there are no signs of injury. I know they're small, but they seem to be in fairly good body condition. All right, sweet pea, 78 grams. Tracking their body weight is the best way to monitor their progress. You've got to stay on, though. 70 grams. <laughs> <laughs> You just it in my top. <laughs> oh, you little troublemaker. The team decide to call this one Harry. At 70 grams, he's smaller than his siblings, and that's a cause for concern. They're going to have to keep an eye on him. A few things that we're looking out for. One is to make sure there's no visible wounds or injuries to them. Um, trying to check that they're active uh, and well hydrated as well. Um, and also, one of the big things will be how they feed, um, because that's going to be very important for uh, getting these guys up to a good weight where we can release them. Charlotte needs to make sure everyone will be able to tell them apart. I am <laughs> actually looking for some nail varnish, not for myself, um, but to mark with these guys who's who. So it's a, it seems like a bit of a beauty treatment, but it's actually really important so we can make sure that one isn't gaining or losing weight. Let's start with Harry. Lovely colour. Tori is making up some special milk. Hedgehogs are lactose intolerant, so we have to kind of play chef and make uh, the best supplement that we can. So we use soy milk, a mixture of cat food, and some oils to try and, and get it up to the same fats as a hedgehog milk. Ours is in charge of keeping the new arrivals warm. They like hiding in this small box. And I've cut some grass for them so that they feel like they're in the world. This is my favorite part of my job. I like new intakes. I like feeding the animals. I love them. <laughs> but Harry, the smallest hedgehog, doesn't want to feed. They don't understand what is happening. So we just keep on trying and see if they are going to take it. Harry can't afford to lose any more weight. He's already much weaker than his siblings. I'll give them time to, to get used to a different environment. I'll not give up. For now, Auser is going to have to be a surrogate mum. The other animals at the centre still need attention. 
and three who demand a lot of it are Harry the Hedgehog and his siblings. Today, it's animal care assistant Ella's turn to babysit. You guys you have to stay in. Ow. My finger is not a mealworm. You can't bite it. Ella is keeping a particularly close eye on Harry's weight. Harry is the smallest one out of the three of them. Um, and he was struggling last week when he first came in. He wasn't putting on any weight. He wasn't really drinking his milk. Um, so we'll see, see how he's doing today. OK, so he weighs 72, which is the same as yesterday. Um, so he's not doing amazing. You can tell the size difference. He's really tiny compared to the other two. Charlotte decides it's time to give him a helping hand. Right, Harry. Good boy. He's just not eating quite as well as we'd like him to. Um, his siblings have put on a good 30 grams each since arrival, whereas he's only put on two. He is the smallest of them, um, the, the runt, so to speak. So it might just take him that little bit longer. But what I don't want is, if he's not eating as well, him to get dehydrated. Would you like to try? Vet student Roman is going to help with a miniature procedure. We're just going to give him a tiny little pick-me-up, a little bit of fluids, a little bit of uh, vitamins, and hopefully uh, we'll start to see his weight go up and him become the same size as the others. Very nice. Good. Good boy, Harry. That looks great. Good boy. I know. It's strange. It's strange. Beautiful. Well done. Great job. Good boy. Should we put you back with your friends? Despite his size, Harry should soon be well enough to go back to the wild with his siblings. The first step is to move them out of their box and into an outdoor enclosure alongside the other orphans at the centre. Putting these animals back in the world, it's really cool, but I always have mixed feelings because I get attached to them and Sometimes it's sad to see them go, but I'm also happy to see them going back in the world. Part of my job is watching the journey that animals make when they come to us. So they come in sick and orphaned and injured and just really frightened. And we get to watch them over the course of a few weeks or months just kind of flourish into happy, healthy individuals. And it's just really great to know that we were able to make a difference and that we were that change in that animal's life. Hey, Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.